With the current ban on churches in Uganda, church services for different churches are still being conducted online, but this has limited offertory collections among other church collections. Craft Silicon is a fintech developing a solution to manage church solutions through Centenary Bank. So the church solution is uh, the solution we put on the Centen mobile application that is a Centenary Bank's application. So it runs on an Android app, um, iOS and USSD. So this helps um, anyone in church who wants to maybe give an offertory or pay for church buildings or maybe give their type or any other program that the church wants money for. So all you need to do is to be registered on the Centenary Bank mobile banking platform. 21 years back, Kraft Silicon started a core banking system that later transformed to mobile banking. With the aim of making digital financing easier, Kraft Silicon is helping people buy USSD app and internet application to access loans as well as transferring money from bank to a mobile phone and vice versa. Kraft Silicon is a fintech company. It's a Kenyan based with the headquarters in, uh, in Nairobi. And uh, we have uh, over 250 customers around the globe and uh, in, in, in like 45 countries. And uh, we offer a range of products which uh, start from uh, core banking solutions, mobile banking, agency banking. So our maiden product was mainly the core banking solution. But with the need to, to, to get financial inclusion and reach out to simplicity of payment to the customer, we're able to innovate on mobile banking, which is a solution that allows you to send money and withdraw to your mobile wallet at, at the time of convenience. So we offer this solution among others in, in all our markets in Africa. And uh, also our core banking system is used within the African countries, but mainly in our market in India for circles and mobile banks. Yeah. With our mobile banking solution, the customer can there and then pull that money from the bank account and transfers it to the uh, MTN or Airtel wallet. So at the time of payment, the, the customer can send that money again from their MTN or Airtel wallet and then um, it transfers it to the bank to pay off for the loan and then borrow again. One of our focus areas is uh, small and medium enterprises and uh, you find that this, this area is mainly uh, populated with women. So in order to support them, we give them product, loan products that are subsidized to them and uh, the rates of borrowing are a bit lower than the usual loan products. In 2008, Kraft Silicon Foundation initiated transportation of students and youth from their technological bus aiming at introducing them to digital technologies. In addition, Kraft Silicon has developed a farmers and government ministry solution through government payment gateways respectively. Among the 250 customers that I mentioned earlier includes even banks and, uh, and government institutions. So one of the government institutions, for example, is the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries in Uganda, we, which we have worked with on um, a World Bank sponsored project where farmers can get items at a subsidized amount. So we developed a solution that uh, runs on USSD, mobile application and web and a farmer is able to log in and uh, order for any product from an agro dealer who is nearer to them and then they are able to use the same platform to top up money into an account. So since it's a subsidized program, uh, the government is paying 30% of, of the, is paying 70% of the farmer's money in the first season and then they will pay 50% and then 70% in the last season. So this supports farmers, but also supports growth in, in a usage of, of financial services in the country. Government, again, we, we developed a solution called the government e-payment gateway for the government of Uganda, which, uh, which uh, processes all payments for, the, for all the government ministries. So this is not just for the ministries, but also the Ministry of Finance and the Government of Uganda are planning to roll it out to all the other institutions like URA and banks so that all the payments that are moving 
and can go through the gateway and um, they are processed in a, in, a, in a rightful manner. Craft Silicon was introduced to the level one principal interoperable software. And on top of everything, it is guided under uh, level one project principles. These are principles that are supported by the World Bank, they are supported by the IMF, International Monetary Fund, they are supported by a number of international financial bodies, so the, which are partners to the central banks. So somehow there is, uh, there is already a bit of acceptance. Uh, only thing is that as we use the open source, we are supposed to be conscious about making sure that we keep the standard it is working with and then only work to improve it. I think Mojalop is a great solution and um, one good thing about it, it's, uh, it's cheaper to use. One of the challenges we've found as Craft Silicon is selling software because uh, most of the clients want you to give them a software at free and maybe they can pay you as time goes on or on transactions. So with Moja Loop coming up, it's, it, it's easy for people to adopt it it's because it's cheap and open source and uh, it will help um, having all the small scale businesses and maybe IT companies that want to connect to several payment platforms to go through it. Today has been the 18th day of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs project organized by High People. So amazing how every kind of event is unfolding. And the 40 Days for the Fintechs initiative, like we've already said, is going to change how financial inclusion is done in the world for good. We are excited to host uh, Craft Silicon today, a very amazing and great financial technology company that has played a very, very, very major role in bringing so many, so many lives into the digital transaction space. By doing a lot of mobile banking, by integrating a lot of uh, mobile financial sa services and uh, mobile network operators into their ecosystem, by uh, doing the bank realm, uh, bankers realm uh, uh, platform, and uh, by, by doing uh, WhatsApp innovation, WhatsApp banking and all that, uh, Craft Silicon is indeed uh, a great thinking organization that is forward thinking for Africa. They are thinking mobile first, they are doing uh, women financing products, they, are, they have a women uh, financing uh, loans uh, scheme with finance trust and all that kind of stuff that they are doing. I mean, before we even talked in a broader sense of interoperability, they are already forging a way of working out, in interconnecting and intercollaborating with different financial service providers to make sure that money speaks the same language. So we are, we are very excited as high people to celebrate uh, Craft Silicon and to shine a light on them and from all our stakeholders, Modest Boss, Cross Lakes Technologies and Moja Loop Foundation, look forward to support and work with uh, uh, Craft Silicon uh, in regards to working with uh, Moja Loop Open Source, uh, that is an open source that was designed as a reference uh, uh, reference point uh, open source for interoperability. So we mean, we mean to make sure we collaborate and make a difference for financial inclusion and make sure we include everyone because an economy that includes everyone benefits everyone. Rita Cavanyoro, Smart24.